Hi, I'm John, and I've had a question from Melitza who wanted to know how I'm recording the Parental Geekery show and including um, sound effects in the podcast as we record. So uh, I'm here to just quickly show you that. This used to be very easy in previous versions of MacOS. There's all sorts of programs that could do it. But with Mountain Lion, that's MacOS 10.8, the brand new version, they've changed the audio subsystem and they've made it a little bit harder to do. So the program that I found that works very well for this is Audio Hijack Pro, which is this program here. Um, it's extremely good um, uh, and it is a four pay program. It's not very expensive. Um, I definitely uh, recommend it. Um, and the way it works is we have on the left here um, uh, a bunch of inputs um, and you can see it comes pre-configured with inputs for um, uh, FaceTime and Safari and uh, Skype um, and so it's set up by default to include some uh, some basic stuff that you might want to record. Now what I'm going to do, let me just kill this one. This was me messing about earlier delete that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my own input recording here in exactly the same way as I do for Parental Geekery. So I'm going to press this plus button at the bottom. It's going to make me a new blank one. Uh, and I'm going to start at the, at the input tab and just work my way across. Um, so first of all, I want to record my voice. And that's coming in through a microphone. So that's an audio device. And I can tell it which audio device I want to record from. In my case, um, my microphone is connected to a small mixing desk which goes in through the line in on my computer. So I will choose built-in input line in. But if you've got a USB microphone or something like that, um, it should appear in this list as an audio device. So choose your input uh, there and that, that will be your input device. Your output device you want to probably leave as your default system output and I think it's very important when you're doing these podcasts um, if you're going to have any sound effects and stuff playing back to you so that you can hear it you really need to be on headphones because you don't want the uh, the sound effects coming out of your speakers back into your microphone giving you feedback and echo and weird, weird, system, uh, weird audio problems. So headphones are very important. Um, don't worry with that, about the schedule tab, you're not going to need that. Um, the recording tab, I do like to do some editing on the shows after I've finished recording. So personally, I don't record straight into MP3. I like to come into that custom option and choose WAV, and I like 44 kilohertz stereo. Uh, and that's a nice quality audio that lets me then go, I take it into uh, Amadeus Pro and do some post-processing on it there. Um, and before I turn it back into an mp3. So you can record to a custom WAV file if you want. If you're just going to reduce, re, uh, produce an mp3 out of Audio Hijack Pro and publish it straight from, from, from out of this program, uh, they've got mp3 output for um, options here and also they've got this tags tab here that lets you put your ID3 tags into your into your output MP3 file. So you can just take the file that comes out of Audio Hijack Pro and publish it, and you're done. You know, it's it's a lovely one-step uh, approach. Um, but that's not what I do. Um, then finally, the effects tab at the end here is where um, the magic happens for getting audio from another program as well as your voice. So uh, we've got blocks here that let us um, put audio effects in. So I'm just going to click that top left block and I'm going to choose 4FX Effect Application Mixer. And this is going to give us this little application mixer block, um, which brings up also this separate window here that lets us choose what program we want to hijack the audio from. So in my case, I'm going to show you, I normally use a program called Soundboard. I'll talk about that at the end. Today I'm going to show you how to do it with QuickTime because of course you get QuickTime for free. Soundboard is a paid application. So I'm going to choose Select and I'm going to go down to wherever the cues are. Where's the cues? There it is, QuickTime. Choose. Right, so I've chosen QuickTime. We've got an op an app, uh, uh, a slider here that lets us choose how much sound we want from the application and how much sound we want from our source. Remember, our source is the line-in. That's our microphone. So this is our voice. Um, and I tend to find that I want to put this over here somewhere, a little bit more towards the voice than the application. Um, all my all my sound clips are recorded to be quite close to zero dB, so quite loud. So I tend to uh, tend to mix it left a bit. That will that will depend on your own clips how you want to set that up. Now, finally, before you uh, close this this little window, you want to make sure that the output monitor monitor or output the monitor output checkbox is ticked um, because if you don't tick that, the um, uh, the audio from QuickTime 
is not going to be audible to you. It will be in the recording, but you won't be able to hear it in your headphones. Um, so turn that on if you want to be able to hear it so you can respond to it. Um, and uh, then you need to click the hijack button. And when you click the hijack button, it's actually going to fire up. You can see here, uh, some windows have just appeared. It's going to fire up QuickTime. And uh, that's now running, that QuickTime is now running as a child of Audio Hijack Pro. Audio Hijack Pro is stealing the audio output from that program that you've just started so that it can go into the recording and if you turned on this monitor output it's also going to send it to your uh, to your default system output which should be your headphones if you're using headphones so we've got that all set up the way we want you can close that window now um, and we're all set up ready to record now before I do that um, the way audio hijack pro works I've just talked about hijacking QuickTime you also need to hijack your line in so this big button at the top here that says hijack when I click it you're going to you're actually going to hear what I hear in my headphones um, and you'll notice there's a slight sort of weird delay which sounds like a double echo let me just turn that on and I'll show you so, so now, now that I've pressed the hijack, hijack button you'll, you'll hear a sort of a weird slight after echo of my voice and this is what I'm hearing in my headphones as well now, fortunately for you watching the video, I can stop that. So let me press the button in ScreenFlow, which is what I'm using to record the video. And hopefully now you're only hearing a single version of that without that slight echo. When you're recording your show and you're working on headphones, what's happening is that your computer is taking the input from your microphone sending it through the computer, doing some proce processing on it here in this effects section, and then it's sending it back to you through your headphones. Now that whole process, is, your computer's very quick, it does it pretty quickly, but there is a slight delay, and you get that delay in your, in your ears. So you kind of want to get used to that, because if you're working in headphones and you want to hear the effects, you, you need to have the headphones on. But a great way, great way to cope with it, if it's bothering you, just knock one of the ears off your headphones, and that makes it a little bit easier to cope. Um, so that's a nice way to work. Personally, I'm, I'm okay with it. I kind of got used to it now. Um, but uh, just be aware that that little double echo is going to be something that you hear, and it's a pretty hard thing to get get uh, rid of unless you're using actual hardware mixing. Um, computer mixing has this little delay. Uh, and especially if you put more effects into this effects panel, the more effects you add, the more delay you'll get. So um, keep it simple if you want to keep it so, so that it doesn't drive you insane. Uh, right, so we're all ready to record now. Now that I've got, I'm hijacked here. I've got QuickTime running. Uh, I've got my clips loaded in QuickTime. Um, at this point, if I want to record the show, I would click the record button, and it would start recording a file. Those files can be found later on in the recording bin section of Audio Hijack Pro. Um, I don't need to press record to show it off though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do what I would do for um, an intro of a show. I'm going to press the play button here, and then I'm going to start using the volume control on QuickTime to manually duck, um, and ducking is when the sound of the effect goes down so that you can speak over it. So this is my show open, I'll just show you how that works. And this is Just Relax It'll Happen, Series 8, Episode 158. And then we're ready to start recording the show and I'll just manually duck that back down and slowly fade the music out. So you can see uh, all I'm doing is I just press the play button. That clip is actually still playing. I've just got the volume all the way down and I just ducked the volume down when I wanted to speak and I dragged the, the volume back up again when I wanted it to play without me speaking over it. Simple as that really. Uh, nothing more magical to it than that and... Um, uh, that's how we record the shows and include the uh, audio effects. As I say, I use uh, Soundboard rather than uh, rather than QuickTime. Let me show you Soundboard quickly. So this is Soundboard when it appears. There it is. Um, Soundboard is uh, an application. I think it's from Ambrosia Software. It's not been fully updated for Mountain Lion. Uh, and I'm actually using an old version of Soundboard here, which I'm not going to update until I know that the new version is fully compatible with Mountain Lion. Um, th this basically just plays sounds. There's no, no magic to this at all. You press a button and it starts playing the sound. So you can use that to, uh, to send the sound to Audio Hijack Pro. Uh, this is another paid application, which is why I showed you QuickTime, because it's free. But uh, this is pretty good for you. You can just drag and drop the sounds into the, onto the buttons here and press the button. So I've got a Gangnam Style hit. Open Gangnam Style! 
Isn't that cool? Um, and you can actually control these with your fingers as well if you want. So, um, yeah, if I press the Q key, for example. Open Gangnam Style! Open Gangnam Style! Uh, so that you know, if you want to have a little bit of fun in your show, and you want to be able to drop these effects in just just to uh, to mess with the person you're recording with, which is what I tend to do with Ruth, um, that's uh, a good way to sneakily press the Gangnam Style button. And uh, that's it. That's the whole job. Um, though the new version of Soundboard, if you do buy Soundboard version two, I think is the new version, um, has this sound pipe option in it, which definitely does not work with Mountain Lion. When Mountain, when they've updated Soundboard so that it does work with Mountain Lion, that might be another great way of sending clips um, into your podcast. Um, sound pipe essentially lets you pipe the sound into another recording program, which would let you use. Uh, you know, Amadeus or a Garage Band or just about anything, and send the sound into that from Soundboard rather than hijacking it. Um, but that's not possible yet. It's not working yet. Um, but it, I, I think the basic functions of Soundboard, if you did want to use it, probably do work. Just don't try and use. I think the things that don't work. There's on the newer version. There's a a volume slider on the button. Uh, I think that crashes it in Mountain Lion, and the sound pipe definitely doesn't work in Mountain Lion. But you could probably do everything I'm doing here with um, with version two of Soundboard. Um, anyway, that's that's up to you. Quick time's a pretty good way to go as well. Okay, I'm all done. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll probably see you at an event sometime. Bye bye.